for records for minutes. So that's right. motion to return regular business. So moved. Second. Uh, Tom and Mike. Uh, all those in favor say aye. Aye. In, in closed session, uh, we, we discussed the project and we're ready to make a motion. I'm going to ask Matt to make that motion. So, uh, Mr. Coffernes, we understand that also um, in line with this, you've got some other business with the city on a cooperative advertising agreement essentially over at the KI Center. Yes. And there's money that's currently owed to the city for, for advertising revenues from 2016, mm -hmm. and that's about $6,000. There will also be the advertising revenue cost share, uh, revenue share from the advertising in 2017 as well mm -hmm. that will be owed to the city. So what we would like from you is on both 2016 and 2017 revenue that's due to the city from that KI um, advertising revenue, we'd like a schedule of payment from you um, about when the city will get paid from that revenue sharing opportunity. And when we receive that schedule, we will agree to restructure the loan to five years or 60 months at 4% interest with the first six months interest only, and then we spread the remaining balance over the remaining 54 months of that loan. So the first six monthly payments would be $149.35, and then for the remaining 54 months, it would jump up to $908.02. And uh, we would also like to receive a copy of your 2017 uh, preliminary P&L for 2017. Right, there are some conditions you can live with. And who do I get those to? Oh, when? To when? To when? Okay. Are, are those some conditions you could uh, um, adhere to, uh, live, uh, agree to? I got to take a look at where I'm at. We're willing to make that motion. That we're willing to do that. I'm willing to second it. Um, but I guess <laughs> we're willing to try to get to, to, to the agreement is, is important. That, that both ends of the spectrum are taken care of. Mm -hmm. um, so, at the bottom line, we have a motion and a second. Everybody heard the motion second? Yes. All in favor, saying aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. So that's where we're at. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks. All right. So where did you find them? You were in I'm here. not telling. <laughs> no, I apologize for that. I looked at it earlier. Four days later. Okay. I know, I know. I see that. Thank <laughs> you. Appreciate that, Mike. Okay. okay, number four. A review of request by Soso Kitchen, LLC, to, to restructure their loan. That's right. So I'll take this to get started. So Robert and Kathy Stahl have uh, run into some additional expenses with, um, they are uh, doing business as Zozo's Kitchen LLC. They had a soft opening this last Saturday that went pretty well from what I understand from some of the staff that attended. Um, so um, they've had some startup things. Things have also not opened right away. And I have to say that I should have probably thought to have the payments start after they had opened. So we have their payments starting prior to them opening and so the restructuring. So I've actually worked with Eugene um, Turchin from Bank of Luxembourg and we have, um, so the staff, um, anyway we're thinking about maybe going out 12 months to get them organized. He's um, put a lot of money into a new kitchen. I went over there and toured. He's got a lot of uh, new piping and um, copper, and he's stuck money into the building, so it's a better project than what he had started with originally. So it um, um, seems like they've spent um, the funds on appropriate um, updating of the kitchen and things like that that is required. Um, I know the city and the health department have required a lot of these um, um, updates. So um, Bank of Luxembourg has um, restructured their loan to have interest only for the first six months to get them started because they haven't asked for a bunch of additional startup um, working revenues or whatever they make they're pouring right into their business um, our loans were 17 5 and 35 so they're pretty um, if you take a look at uh, the amounts there so um, 
I think I have a loan schedule for you for the two loans. If not, I have one available for you of what it would look like for 12 months interest only and then the rest remaining to go out um, into um, payments. And, and this is on both loans? This is on both the working That's capital correct. and the building? Would That's it correct. go to interest only for 12 months? Okay. And the bank is going to do that for six months? Okay. That's right. I have confirmation. Um, they went through loan committee and they sent this on Monday the 22nd. It was approved through um, his primary lender. Pardon me, Go ahead, Mr. Please. Chairman. Please uh, I talked to Wendy at length on this and what I've asked her to do, actually she made the, you know, the suggestion that in the future we look at this type of thing so we don't run into this problem again. Uh, I've ran into a lot of business people that keep coming back to Green Bay on the other aspect of it where you run into our city inspectors and all that and the, 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 the money it costs you to do the extra things to go to nine yards, they've done the ten yards instead of the nine yards, they went the full ten yards and it, it catches you off guard because you don't know going in that all this extra stuff's got to be done. You know, instead of saying no, they went ahead and did it. They used what we gave them and then more. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm more than adamant that we should do this, but Wendy is going to make sure that we don't run into this problem again. But if we have someone like the, what they're doing, uh, I think it's going to be a success. But uh, in the future, we've got to really look at how we do this stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, all of a sudden they're caught in a with their pants down, and, but yet they do it. One of the things that the Economic Development Department has been doing is bringing some of these projects to a development team where we have the electrical inspector, the, um, all of the inspectors, including the health inspector, at the table so that they get a chance to review the plan and so that on the front end we have probably a little bit better projection so that we don't have a lot of cost overruns that we're not aware of. Granted, the project in the while it's expensive to put new some of these new things into a building without having the income established yet because it's not open, um, it does ultimately raise the value of the building and gets a better project in the end, but it's just um, to have those added expenses put in to the beginning when you're not producing is always um, a little, little hard for a proprietor to organize. And so I think um, for us to maybe structure our loans so that there's an opportunity for them to start out on the with an interest only period until they're open, have their doors producing, and then have our loan structure start after that. Um, that was something that the lender and myself had talked about. But it will be a better project in the end. So, um, yeah, I, I guess I would make the uh, permanent recommendation. I think that's a case by case situation. But yep. the, uh, but yeah. to review those sure. um, potentials. Um, yep. Prior to yeah, not every loan is like this. Right. That's good. Well, on the flip side too, I mean, you know, I see where everyone's coming from in their in their thoughts. But when I develop a piece of property or I'm going to build something, it's you know, it's not up to the to the lender to know ahead of time that you're going to run into all of these issues. You know, it's the developer, it's the contractor. Where it it's, is? It's really your responsibility to know when you walk in the door. You know what you're going to be now. Having said that, when you're remodeling an existing structure, an old structure, there are going to be surprises. So, 17 below zero and some broken pipes will probably set you back. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that was part of the issue anyway. this year as well. Uh, do we want to hear any comment, or do, I, we, I, I, do we need to? I, I, I don't feel that you. I, I'd just love to take a couple minutes and let okay. us tell yeah. us yeah. To yeah. allow yeah. them to tell us right what's going on with the building so and what you had to do and the business getting started. Mike and, and Tom uh, made a motion to open the meeting. All in favor, say aye. 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 Thank you. Hi. <laughs> Hello. It's been a heck of a project. Uh, you, from having to finding out that the drains in the kitchen weren't four inch lines, they were two inch lines, so we had to cut them all up to having only half inch water line coming into the kitchen when you should have a one inch line. So we had to run 400 feet of one inch copper pipe because uh, it's a 9,000 square foot building, you know. Um, and when we had that cold snap, my boiler, my boiler froze and I had to replace, you know, another four grand of pipes. Wow. Um, I've, my catering company has floated a lot of the payments, but now I'm draining that account. I just drained my 401k, you know, we're just trying to get it up and running. 
I, you know, we had a very successful soft opening. I think we served 125 people in four hours Good. Um, Good. with a really, not one plate came back and we had comment cards and we had nothing but good to say. I, I really believe in the product that I have, uh, the product that we've developed. It's going to be really good for the area. I, I just had about seven interviews this morning with low-income people um, and one homeless person. Hopefully we'll get them all a job and, and keep it up and running. Uh, it's just as we all said, you know, it, it, things happen. We're making do. We're struggling. But we, you know, it's the American dream. You know, my wife works in New Jersey right now, you know, doing do Epic software, so that's why she wasn't here. Uh, because it's what she has to do to keep us afloat because it pays her well. Sure. Um, sure. So right. that's why I have my dog. That's why you <laughs> always pick it up from school. That's why. Yeah, that's why I was a little late because I had yeah. to get Zozo from school. <laughs> She's patiently waiting one on, on the iPad. So this is Zozo. That's an S. Oh, that's <laughs> Zozo. This is a mess. Shut your kitchen. <laughs> oh, that Sorry. is it. Bravo. Sorry. A restaurant, not a kitchen. Okay. So, right. um, so is kitchen. that your backpack, the yeah, shiny one, or is that your dad's? <laughs> it's a unicorn. Okay. 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 All right, beautiful with a Z. Got it. Thanks. Now. Thank you. Thanks, Beth. Any other questions from you guys? Not really. No. no Thank you for your time. Oh, I just appreciate hearing about Second. what's been going on and opening it up. Um, motion to approve. Second. My, my, Mike and Tom, uh, motion to approve our door of business. All of AI. Aye. 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 Motion to approve. Uh, Tom, motion to approve. Uh, Matt, Second. Matt, Second. Matt, Second. Matt, Second. Matt, 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 Okay, study hard. Is that your two? <laughs> <laughs> Our of homework from the Da Vinci School. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. I'm oh, sorry, I'm going to um, So, um, I have this is an update for 929 Cedar LLC. We granted this loan um, September. I want to say. September 11th or yes, thereabouts um, is when we had our last meeting. So I've actually included in your loan packet um, an email that I got from Garrett back on November 27th. They were working with our inspectors. And I think right now our inspectors are seeing, this is not the first project that I've actually been working with with economic development, but I think our inspectors are really trying to bring our buildings up to really high standards in the city. And while sometimes proprietors are feeling that it's a lot of extra work, I think it's really adding to the value of the project. And so that's what's happening with a couple of these parcels. And some of them have been vacant buildings for a while. This was a warehouse, and it's turned into a new use. And so if you look at the um, paperwork that I sent at the bottom, it looks like this. It's got flooring. There's an overrun on flooring, electrical and city requirements. It looks like this is the piece, and there's a breakout here. It's probably the last piece there. So in this project, the original estimates, he has down what his original estimates, um, original contract was for $175,070. As you can see, that they've had to do some extra floor scraping and some other um, electrical projects. So if you flip the paper over, and it explains um, what the difference is. So they had to actually, um, so they came back, the original project all together between the city, um, the, this is um, uh, Aaron Faulkner at Bank First National I've been working with, um, and the whole project was 900000 They needed an additional 92000 and Bank First National has agreed to um, lend them that funding, so they are actually closing the gap between their investors, the bank. They have asked us if we would just subrogate down further in the in the chain that we would be $92,000 further down than what we had originally agreed at, at the nine hundred. dollars um, It should be okay because we actually had an estimate prior to all these changes to the building, the original um, uh, when we had the assessment done, the appraisal done on the property, it was a million dollars yeah. on the property be unimproved, and now they've stuck um, several hundred thousand dollars into the improvements. 
and so now we have updated. They were going to just patch the electrical. They've had all new electrical and a hand and new restrooms that were never there, and a whole bunch of other things that have been added to the building. So they've um, invested in a lot of infrastructure in these buildings um, that were not all anticipated in the original quote. So part of that has to do with um, some of the requirements. Um, but Bank First National has approved it. Um, they just want to make sure that our loan committee is comfortable with having the additional expenses added to the project. Um, we're kind of into the project already, and the property's been um, purchased. The tenant is getting ready for occupation uh, to be able to occupy it. And so I just want to make sure that we are all on the same page as far as there's been some loan changes happening. Um, That's that tent place, right? This is tent, the, the tent rental is in yeah. one portion of yeah. the, yes, you are absolutely correct. So and they're adding the jobs to meet the criteria of the loan. So we're not increasing our loan. Our loan is not going to be changed okay. at all other than our subrogation for $92,000 further down, further down. We were. We're, we're like but that 92,000 is essentially done half with equity and half with additional debt so it's actually more percent of equity in that than there would have been in the stack already okay you got it we have to take a motion on this no it's just an update okay so do we actually take a mortgage on this property then we do okay we have a mortgage on the oh. property for our portion of it um we're just um behind right mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, on the sheet at the bottom one. Yeah, yep. yep. I just didn't know what we Yes, we have a subordination oh, agreement on the mortgage. Yes. All right. Okay. Now I entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Tom and Matt. All Wendy, you're collecting all the financials. Yes, sir. All right. Okay. All Thank right. you. Favors? Nobody opposed to the adjourn. Nobody is opposed to adjourn. Do we do, um, do we do like UCC filings then as well? Or Absolutely. Okay. So it's everything on or so there were some that were unsecured? Yeah, we should give you we should give you a little orientation if you want. Actually, right, and I, I I'll have to send you a bit. Yeah. Um if it's um the only thing that we can do that has um uns that can be unsecured is working capital. And I typically would even take a security if they would have one. Mm -hmm. um, the sensitivity with the building with in competition sports is that it's a lease property, so they're next to sure. Goodwill, so it's a lease situation, so you can't go after the property. They have their house up for sale because they want to turn that over and liquid liquidate that and get into it. They built this big, beautiful home in Howard Swamco area um, themselves, and so they have this equity. Um, she has a good job. Um, he actually has worked for In Competition for many years and has been thinking about purchasing it. Um, as you know, that person had a wife that died of cancer, and so he yes. was taking care of his wife through her illness and then have fairly young kids, and so like, that kind of... Competition, yeah. What's that? So that West Mason. Yeah, it used to be in the big toys or us. used to be Best yeah. Buy. It used yeah. to be next so to Mark. Yep. I actually yep. worked yep. with the gentleman that had, was with in competition. Mm -hmm. He was over by the new Festi on uh, Mason mm -hmm. yeah. Street. And then when, the, when that road was being reconstructed, we tried to find alternative locations, and he fell in love with the West Mason um, location over there. It was near the highways. It had a lot of things kind of coming together with that. But um, because the business has been flailing, um, he could purchase it, he got a business equity loan for 160,000, purchased the property, but now he needs some working equity because they just um, put it all into that. So they're gonna kind of think about that. But it actually was kind of a happy story in the fact that one of his employees was coming on mm -hmm. and gonna be buying it. And then this person, the, pre the previous owner, was going to stay working within the company to keep it going. So that was kind of fun. They were going to take team and um, help it grow, and they were just going to switch ownership versus, um, and then kind of eventually that person would phase out, but he was going to help make sure that transition was very successful because he would like to see it oh, arrive. I was anxious to hear your plan and how to make it more profitable. Just had um, to get revenues up. You saw it in the financials. I mean, I know. his numbers, his margins it, are right I, I out know, but everything. okay, fine, but what are you going to do to get the revenues Part up? Part of it, it whenever there's an absent owner and there isn't somebody on sales, but the big thing is that they have a marketing plan and they're putting a lot of effort okay. into uh, marketing efforts. And um, again, when you have husband and wife team working together versus one sure. taking care of an ailing spouse, yes. 
yes. can really make a big difference. Yeah, that's and a tough so story. It is a tough story, and um, this that was kind of going to be the kind crazy. of the happy ending to the tough story. So I was, you think um, so I wish them well. Do you think they'll come back? Do you think they'll come back? And they'll come back? I, you know, they really didn't like the five percent. That was a big deal, but their bank is giving them four point seven. Is what they have with um, oh. their bank, but our, our. All right. So if that doesn't seem like enough of a of an was argument it, to but me, but was it a home equity line or was it actually a business? It looked like it no, was it was a home equity. Yeah. So they got one sixty so home equity. Wow. So it's a ten year. Oh, exactly. Four point seven. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ten year. Four point seven. Right. And then we were going to do three years because it's working capital with no. Um, I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any. Can't you capital. just file? Can't you just, just file personal. on the equipment? Um, I could have done a UCC filing mm -hmm. on it. Um, but they wanted a signature only. They didn't want to have it tied to anything. And so it was really, because I suppose it's hard when they're selling it that they're, I would have to try and, so I said, is there any big piece of equipment, a lathe or something that would have um, some, ex you know, and It's a really nice bike. You can't really do a filing on inventory. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, that typically, yeah, hard. if you're buying it from the, the manufacturer, then they typically would have, yeah. Yeah, first and I think, it. yeah, and so, we just couldn't find anything to, to work it out. <laughs> and so they're trying to figure property? out. What was that? Is that on Ida property? Where Goodwill is? I don't, I don't know. You Probably know, um, they're leasing from the Goodwill building in that Goodwill building. So yeah, I don't know if that's in an Ida property. I know that when I looked at a parcel that I was going to buy um, on Larson Road by, it was a Maco Flooring Company, that mm -hmm. was the building, and that is in Oneida. And I know Fleet Farm is in Oneida. Yeah, all that stuff. I and Walmart is, and, yeah. and all that. So I don't know if that is still Far probably over. Green Bay. Okay. I don't know for sure. But anyway, thank you for all this. Thank you. Um, yeah. I know thank that you. the restructuring things, but you know, unforeseen expenses in big old cool buildings is oh, just sure. one of those things. So, we wish but I well. think our I think our inspectors are also requiring that this is an opportunity to really bring it up to the modern. Modern world. Right, goodwill. Goodwill owns it. Chad, nice to meet you. Chad, nice to meet you. Gentlemen. Yeah, Chad. Good luck. Later. Yeah, take care, Tom. Yep. Yep. Excellent. Thank you. We'll see you later. Thank you very so much. So, have you skied Bohemia this year? <laughs> no, not yeah, this year. We're, gonna, we're going up <laughs> tomorrow night or Thursday morning. So we'll be up at the lake. Are you going up this weekend? No, no. no. There's a lot um, of snow up there. It's sometime in February. I don't know. We skied pine uh, two weeks ago. Then we're going to probably ski pool on the way back. Ski pine mountain? How was that? It was good. It was Where did good. you go? The pine ramp, the pine. You know, I'm on patrol there. I was looking for your mug on the wall. Your kid. Your I didn't patrol? see it. There? Are you really? I didn't I see it. For how long so have you done that? Have a good night. I just switched yeah. over from Norway, but this is my third year. Well, you, you didn't have any choice. Do you ever teach last their clothes? No. No. Okay. No, I just ski. Yeah. Yeah, I just ski. No, my. All right. You, you got to ski. You got your priorities, buddy. Yeah, yeah, way to go. Of we'll so the end of February. February. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great we time. Might be up there. Yeah. Look me up on the internet. That Lonnie there. Gleberman. Anyway, I can't believe they had a thousand I people there a couple weekends ago. A couple Saturdays ago. A thousand skiers. I believe you. Yeah. Well, That's right. crazy. My, okay. my son, my, my, my wife Mark uh, Paul, Paul rather, is going to so remember some of this. He was up there last Stay weekend. Night. That, that, was, was, that, that was, was, was easy. Really it was easy. Was it was slushy. Real okay. It was 40 uh, degrees. That's why it was Friday. It was 40. My snowmobile trails got beat up. Brule wasn't that bad at all. We went amazing. She's the price. That's slushy. Uh, the end of February. So we look at the calendar here. February. Well, um, that's March. All over the place. Oh yeah. Head well. Um, yeah, but you're you're yeah. you're here. Yeah. So. And Actually, yeah, we are going to be up there. Why are we going to be up there? The whole family could get ski passes. <laughs> okay. Kind of Let's see. Because yeah, so the, the, the copper dog, we got the dog sled race the weekend afterwards. I might as well do it, you know, kind of oh, no. with them, and it's a good skill um, to have anyway. Just twenty third, twenty fourth, right up in Minneapolis. Oh, oh no, and I take that back. Seventeenth, seventeenth, eighteenth. We'll be up for you, and it's just, you know, it's one of those good winter carnival is the ninth, tenth. So, yeah, so we have been patrolling there, and it's a good group with a lot of camaraderie. We're going to be up there the first of March. That's but they have been fantastic there. They've been so kind of into the last week. Yeah, the ownership there is awesome. They're so appreciative of the volunteers, and they just have been really. I mean, he's just always making it better. I just, I'm really impressed with the management there. With the club? No. Yes. Yeah. So the, it's just a slash block. It's the Appleton, Appleton Club. It's the like Appleton Club. It's the Appleton Club. New Year's. It was cold. Yeah. Those, Those work out pretty good, Gary. I mean, you, if you're involved, yeah. they, somebody arranges yeah. it, and, you know, 
no. whatever. Yeah, well, they're very good. Um, I mean, basically, it's, pretty cool. it's, it's um, at least half percent, like, so uh, 50 percent savings. Really? Really? If you did, oh, yeah, yeah without a doubt. I think you're negotiating 60, 70 skiers. Wind, we're just so oh, flight, oh, there, yeah. Yeah. flight and hotel sure you're and you're gonna, tickets. Oh, yeah, so you There's nothing to get to be a member of the club, right? Oh, yeah, 20 bucks a year. 20 bucks, what the heck? Yeah. Oh, no, these are trips are good, are real good. I mean, I, we, we yeah, tried. Well, you take the. I, I give my financial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a shred. Yeah, I'll give you one. Throw it right in. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, oh, yeah, you save at least every other year we go to Europe. Does you know, uh, like like Mud go too, Brian? Oh, yeah. And, uh, I don't know if he's on this trip. Brian, yeah, he goes. He goes most trips, though. He always goes to Europe. That was very old. I remember still like a yeah. working like full that. time. Like, wow. there? No, they were retired. Well. Well. I wouldn't expect it. It's a holiday weekend. It's okay. They kept like apologizing. I'm like, uh, very no, good. We, Thank you. you know, is that a historic meeting? There's a historic district. Prime 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 they get to fill that. Yeah, like, to ask You need to be aberrational. We want you successful so we can come keep, you know, keep coming back here. But that's great. Yeah, no, it's been really wonderful. So yeah, so but we were skiing up at. Uh, Did you go to Bohemia? I didn't go to Bohemia. I went up to Ripley? Holton Saturday. Okay, you skied oh, Ripley. Was oh. it? It was warm on Friday. It was Actually, I did the cross country. What is it called? Oh, Sweden? did you go to Sweet Town? Sweet Town. Yeah, so you so went up the hill. That's where Susie grew yeah, up. Yeah, cross country. My so I have stepdaughters that um, so I have grandsons and the one is like only two or three and they started so little there that he's on the little trail and look at look at me, grandma. Yeah, it's like but his skis are like this big. They're so yeah. stinking cute. Yeah. And he's like this big on the trail and he's going. But they had a kids race there, and then then we went up cross country skiing to um, Cape uh, Cape Point in Door County on Sunday. Oh, oh, and okay, that was yeah, beautiful. If you can oh. your kids, it like is that? pretty. It is yeah, pretty. Cape that Point. Is so pretty. It's so There's so trails pretty. up there. Yes. Yeah, they Cape have. Um, really. Well, have to bring. I got. I brought our snowshoes back, but I didn't point. bring the skis back. Oh my goodness! Look at all the ice. Isn't that pretty? That's awesome. So, so it's the way way it's howling off of the right next to Whitefish Dunes. Whitefish Dunes. So oh, it's so it's so side. Oh, oh, you can kind of come down out. the same road, and you turn right to go into oh, okay. Whitefish Dunes. You go left to go into Cave Point. Okay. They have cross country. Yeah, Cave Point County Park is right by um, Jacksonport. But you know, I'm sure with the cold weather, and then that northeast. I mean, I'm sure we're just pounding on that shoreline um today was another easterly wind so it was probably um well i bet it's pretty because it did just big ice castles it it was you know we've been up to the when when the uh, did you go to apostles i did not this year that? Not i've never year. done that they had an article it's not frozen yet they right you can't not enough they won't let anybody else this year yeah yeah no it's not cold enough we went up there. We landed on the ice with the plane, and then ran over to him, took a look at him, and then flew oh, off. Did you? Really? <laughs> so you got really? skis? He's got skis on the plane. Actually, it's pretty. We got uh, just oh, big really? puppy tires. Oh, okay. No, yeah. It, my father-in-law's plane had the skis on, but oh yeah, yeah. That's neat. So this oh, is just at the, that. the really, um, they're really just oh, huge. Oh, key point, huh? This is at Cape Here's Point. Why you it's worth the trip up there. It's an hour from here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is. This yeah, is in the harbor, but there are two freight, two freighters that were. Oh. Last week I was driving, I was up there doing work at the station, and oh. and I tried to get them. One was inbound and one was outbound. Oh, oh, and oh yeah, what did beneath? So oh, and I couldn't quite. Yeah. It was like I can't believe this, and I'm trying to get this picture. And oh yeah, <laughs> it's open. It's open. It's open. Yeah. So is so is um, Michigan. Yeah. Yeah. There was you one. I wouldn't want to be out on Lake. Superior. This is Highway 41. This is going to the our house. Oh, very pretty. That's not 41 so up there. Where is yours at? Where is your place at? Just out of the harbor, Copper Harbor. Uh -huh. You were you were almost there, kiddo. So I was gonna say, what was the big going. fishing jamboree? Look at how many. There's like 200 ice. There's like I could never saw so many ice. Where were you though? We In Door County. This was at Barraga Bay. Look at all the ice. Oh shots. yeah. Yeah, there was just like 200, that, there was been some big fishing thing. Then you kept going right towards Chassel about five miles up yeah. and the water is wide open. Yeah. Oh my it's God. right so at the head of the bay. It's the only place. Chassel, that's where. Oh, does she really? Yeah. Oh, would you mention that? Yeah. Paradise Road. Paradise Road. I know where that is. Here was a right. freighter the uh, few you weeks go ago. Trouble somewhere else I have a historic uh, preservation oh, 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 yeah, yeah, commission. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to ask, is it worth me sneaking over there? Yeah. I'm sure it would be. I'll feed you. 
It's at the Thank Meyer. you again. Good night, all. Yep. And I'll, uh, nice. eat, let's, hopefully I'll see you at Pine. Yes. Send me your, send me your phone number, Randy. I will. Just look for a mug on the wall. I didn't do my quote. I'm a rebel. No kidding. Is. Why do I not know that one? I can't think of anything <laughs> nice to say. <laughs> Mike, no, Mike, I had lunch with Scott. My friend Scott was up there all the time, and Mike, one of Mike, he's from Green Bay, and he's an instructor up there. And what was his? What were some of his quotes? No, I can't think. Remember, it was pretty funny. I'm just For Scott, conference. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You from, I'm. Well, he was at a customer. Sometimes you're going down and just tell them it's kind of good. Well, that's God. That's what I mean. It's like, God. But sometimes that's kind of kind of entrepreneurish. You know, that he's going to take off. No, I know, because you're an entrepreneur, so I was like, I don't know. So, anyway, I'm glad Gary tapped Matt to yeah. confirm you're about to shut down the system. Confirm.